Hi everybody. Today I'm working on window screens. Uh, this camper does not come with window screens and I'm told that like overseas they just don't have as many bug problems as we do but I want window screens. So the way they have to be done because the windows open out like an awning like this so you have to be able to access those controls. So the screens have to be removable. So what I've chosen to do is put them on with Velcro and then, um, you know, Velcro will go all the way around the window frame and then I can lift them up to open and close the windows. So I got on eBay. I knew I needed a lot of Velcro and I found this super great deal. I think it was like $30 and it's 25 yards. So that was like once in a lifetime deal. I grabbed it. This is the screen I'm using. It's from Ace Hardware. It is fiberglass screen, so it's nice and soft and it's black. So here's what I'm doing. Um, here's a roll of the Velcro, just if you want to see. That's part of it. It is has the adhesive on it. So one side is the loop and one side is the uh, hook. So, okay, so here's what I'm doing. I am, let me get the camera down here. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've cut the screen with three inches extra all the way around. So I'm laying it on here and then I'm turning it up so that it's half one and a half inches and then one and a half inches again. Then I'm pinning that and I'll sew it with my sewing machine. So this is where I will attach the Velcro onto the screen. So I just wanted to show you that part. Um, I have two pieces already cut here. The windows are 25 inches high by 50 inches long so it's a pretty big piece of screen and I will show you when I get a little further along with this so I'll be back. Something else I wanted to show you is I took this newspaper in the camper and I made a template so it has the curve at the top corner and then the curve at the bottom corner so I'll be able to lay this out on the screen and make sure that it has the right shape instead of just doing weight that down because it curls up so instead of just doing like squared off corners when the window is curved this is the way I'm gonna do this here's a okay. tip totally unrelated to screen but not really I use my rotary cutter to cut the screen don't do that because nail it's instantly dulled. I went to cut this fabric afterwards and had to use my scissors because um, I'll show you. Let me see if I get to the end here. This is typically super sharp and it'll slice right through your skin. And I'm going to try to cut just a little bit. And you can see it's just making an indentation on it with a teeny tiny little slit on the end, but it did not cut it. So now I have to order new blades. So if you cut your screen, hey, it was super easy to cut with my rotary cutter, but now my rotary cutter is dull. So I'll be ordering new blades. The next thing I'm gonna do is get the screen ready for the around the rooftop. Um, when you pop that top up, you need screen hanging down to keep the bugs from getting in. So I saved the old screen. This is the fabric that was on the pop top. Sorry about the road noise. I wanted to do this outside. It's super messy, super nasty and moldy. But I wanted to show you that I did keep this so that I can measure this screen here and use that as a, like a template. So I'm gonna measure that out and then I'm gonna cut it out of new screen and that'll be attached to the roof when I put the carpet liner on there. So that's my next step. I'm gonna put this back in the bag after I measure it and um, wash my hands. <laughs> 